14 March 2022. The European Union together with Danish International Development Agency Danita, the county government of Machakos and Kenya Climate Innovation Center through the AgriBiz program launched a business incubation hub in Machakos to support agriculture in the county. The new hub is set to unlock the enormous potential of agricultural technology across the region and enable local farmers to explore the latest innovations. I have requested the officers who are in charge of agriculture in Machakos County to ensure that this program succeeds and even ensure that after the five-year program, we come up with the strategies of ensuring that uh, the program uh, succeeds in a very sustainable manner. We will be available anytime as a, as a, as a government to support you. We have a team, a big team, of extension officers who can support you anytime. And uh, we also have the necessary infrastructure that you can leverage on so that you can succeed in your businesses. I'm really, really excited to see all of you and to be part of this uh, great occasion where we are going to roll out your new home. I'm calling it a home as a mother, that this is a home where you will be coming You'll be receiving your services and support services from this particular home. It's a home that we prepared when we are able to host close to about um, 30 entrepreneurs at any particular point in time. And it will be open from Monday through to Friday. You'll be walking in and you'll be getting uh, the necessary support that you require from this particular hub. We've been able to support close to about 126 entrepreneurs since we launched uh, in uh, 2020. The first cohort was being supported from Nairobi, but the second host, uh, cohort was supported actually from here. I'm also happy to inform you that uh, around uh, last month, we, we've been able to sign in about 96, can you imagine 96 new entrepreneurs that will be supported, thank you that will be supported from this beautiful home. So we are really, really excited as an institution and you can be able to access different type of services from us, uh, ranging from uh, business advisory services, we'll be able to give you uh, access to financing for those who require some support services in terms of financing. We'll be able to support you in different aspects, including those who are coming with products that are not well refined will be able to support you in developing your products and will be able to put your products to market. Our biggest uh, challenge as a, as, a, as a county of this particular region is actually market. And all of you here can attest to it that market is really a challenge. And as KCIC, through the AgriBiz program, we are committed to support you in terms of uh, trying to source for markets for your products through such uh, events like exhibitions or the shows or any other forum that will be able to place your products in the market. On behalf of the European Union, uh, I'm really honored to be here today for the launch that we have done of the Machaco Business Incubation Hub. I don't know if there is an acronym for that yet, but uh, MBIH sounds quite nice. And this, as you have already been uh, uh, already heard and been told, is a program that is uh, been financed under a program known as AgriBiz. Uh, AgriBiz was jointly designed by the European Union, the government of Kenya, uh, and implementing partners. And the idea was to provide concrete business and employment opportunities for two of the most overlooked categories of agripreneurs: youth and women. Through this program, we are setting up and, uh, and uh, building eight business incubation hubs. And Machakos, as you know, is one of them. It's the first one where I've been, so for me it will always become be the first. Uh, the hubs are going to provi provide uh, support services and initial funding for agricultural value chains, SMEs, CBOs, and startups. The support services that will be accessible through the hub will include training, incubation services, acceleration services, access to seed capital, and provision of mentorship and investor readiness. Therefore, the, the incubation hub of Machakos includes also and covers also from Akueni, Kajiato, and Kitui. And as we've seen, there may be some uh, already beneficiaries here. 
The idea of the program is to mobilize more funds, uh, is to mobilize more than 17 billion shillings in lending that will allow further investment in this very promising sector. When we started the program, uh, we knew that we wanted to establish uh, eight hubs to cover uh, all of the 47 counties in Kenya. And the eight counties that we selected were in, in close discussion with the Council of Governors. And I think when we visit, visit the, uh, the hub here today, we are reassured that choosing uh, Machakos A2C to host the, the Agribiz program, it really was a good decision. Um, and involving the county government and the public institutions uh, is, is very important for us. Um, and as we actually also discussed with the deputy governor earlier today, we really hope that the hub will keep existing also after the program has come to an end. And therefore, I hope that if the hub becomes a place, and hopefully it will, uh, of activity for especially young people of Bachakas uh, who, venture, who will venture into agribusiness, then hopefully we can assure a sustain sustainability plan uh, for the hub. I'm from the factory by the name Sendewe Animal Feeds. Uh, we have been in, in the market for Sendewe Animal Feeds for the past three years. This is our fourth year. I want to say thank you so much because uh, if it wasn't for them, the agribees came when the time of COVID came. And from that time, I was able now to be able to work uh, continuously because before we could stop first to look for material, for money for materials. But right now, I'm able to, to work uh, 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 continuously. Azavi Foods uh, began three years ago uh, with the need uh, to uh, reduce on post harvest losses and promote healthy eating practices. We are currently drying mangoes pineapples and bananas. We hope to expand the variety to meet the nutritional needs and preference of each and every customer. With the support of KCIC, I was able to um, update my website into an e-commerce where I was able to reach more of my customers. We trained on digital marketing, so I continuously create content to be able to reach my customers. So there's been growth uh, through that space. I always say I'm not a local entrepreneur trader anymore. I'm a global entrepreneur because of the market access, the experience market and I'm so happy the Africa continental free trade coming into play right now because now we can be able to trade in Africa and grow the economy of Africa and just sell our things to the rest of the world.